Um, first, let me greet the uh, Commander in Chief of the Freedom Fighters and the leadership of the EFF. I stand here today to reject this fruitless and wasteful expenditure called the budget vote of the presidency. South Africa's economy has been dwindling in terms of size, quality, since Mr. Size, size and quality since Mr. Ramaphosa took office. Every life in South Africa is becoming increasingly difficult for everyone. There is growing consensus, even in the business community, that South Africa is becoming a failed state. Unemployment continues to escalate. More than 50% of South Africa's labor force is not in employment, is not in education or training, or has simply given up on finding employment. The cost of food, petrol, everything, and the overall standard of living has become unaffordable for all. Mr. Ramaphosa, the dithering president, has failed to present a credible and dependable solution to the crisis facing South Africa. He has been unable to lead a program to develop and implement a believable solution to the current electricity crisis in the country. Instead of considering practical solutions that the revolutionary movement, the EFF presented during the State of the Nation address, like building additional capacity, floating storage reclassification units, nuclear power, full completion of the Kahura Basa hydropower project within the, with the, with the necessary agency and speed, it, is, it disregarded all these uh, practical proposals. Three months after announcement, Mr. Ramaphosa gave powers to the dancing minister to deliver false promises to parliament and the people of South Africa, claiming that he will source 1,500 megawatt mega, megawatts uh, uh, from, from the suit. The same minister said he would bring 4,200 4, megawatts uh, within the next 90 days, even when ESCOM is prohibited from using any of the fiscal stimulus to finance additional A point of generation. Order. Crime, particularly gender violence, is out of control. Honorable Manye, Honorable Manye, please take your seat. Order, members. Order. Why are you rising, Honorable Member? Rising in terms of uh, rule number 84. And a ruling was made yesterday that members who want to be called dancing members can do so, but, but no other member can use that term for other members. Okay. So a ruling was made yesterday by a presiding officer on that okay. matter. But I don't have a problem with the speech. Okay, no problem. Uh, proceed, Honorable Manye. Crime, uh, particularly gender-based violence, is out of control. Women and children are killed every day. People are dying due to poor water conditions in Amman Skral. And the president doesn't take any responsibility whatsoever. His government is now advising people not to drink water in their own taps. This man has failed in proving to the, this man has failed and is proving to be the worst president in the post apartheid South Africa. Instead, he is bloating the presidency with useless envoys, commissions, and ministers, and creating a kitchen cabinet in the presidency. The man should simply resign. His uh, presidency has really been characterized by corruption. The country is now under gray listing because of the money laundering shenanigans of the Palapala farm. The president has also not been exemplary in, in, in respecting the laws of this country. Foreign exchange regulations is very clear that if you've got foreign currency, you've got 30 days to declare it. This president sat with foreign currency for 45 days. We are surprised that the acting public protector has not found against him. So in conclusion, for us as the economic freedom fighters, we are saying in order for this country to move forward, Ramaphosa must resign. Thank you.